so we are going to make this today there are many methods to make this i am going to show you the method i used to make this effect open blender create the text copy it six times extrude it give it a bold font make height and depth equal give a remesh modifier uncheck remove disconnected convert this to mesh now rotate each word by 90 degree set origin to geometry move selection to origin make a circle and make this shape Convert this shape to curve. This will be our path for the text. Use curve modifier on the text. Set camera with 45 degree inclined in Z axis. Set camera to orthographic. Now create an empty. Give copy location constraint to the text. Set target as that empty. Check offset and uncheck Y and Z axis. Now we can control this checks with our empty. Now scale down the text so that last E matches last E of the third word. Now increase height and width of the text without changing length. You should note that width and height should be always equal. Now animate the empty. Duplicate the text and the curve and move it to back. Make a cube and scale it to curve first half of the text. Do intersect boolean operation on this cube and text. Move all these objects to new collection and name it first. Move second text and curve to another collection and name it second. Create another cube and cover second half of the text. Do intersection boolean with text and cube. We will combine these two text animation to make the impossible loop. Give materials and lighting. I am going to make a full copy scene, keeping only first collection in first scene and second collection in second scene. In compositing, duplicate render layer and give it a file output. Keep scene 2 in this. Now render full animation. In After Effects, you can combine these two videos to make it a single video. I'm more comfortable with After Effects compositing, that's why I use After Effects for combining these two videos. You can use either Blender or any other software for combining the videos. Mm -hmm.